Hello everyone, today I will tell you about Zoho Notebook, its functions, interface and how can you use it the most efficient way. It is a cloud-based solution so all of the notes and files will be stored on the cloud and won't take much space on your computer or on your phone. So when you open the app you can see all of the notebooks that we already created and now let's create a new one. You can change the name of it and let's see what other options you have. You can open it, get the info about the notebook, set as default notebook, change the cover, lock it, share it and move to trash. Let's change the cover of it. There are some default covers for the notebooks from Zoho. There are some premium ones and also you can create your own cover for the notebook. When you save the cover, you can see the info about the notebook and let's open it. When you open it, it's empty and you can see the beautiful quote that Zoho put here and you can also add it to the notes if you like it. So when we open it, we can see our quote, we can name it, for example, quote one, and also we can make it look like a quote using a specific text editor element. So here is a regular text editor, so you can move text to the other part of the page, for example, to the right to specify that it's the author of the quote. And let's see what you can also do with text here. So obviously you can make it bold, you can make it crossed, you can make it in italic, you can also add an underline and put it on some kind of colorful background. You can also make lists with dots or with numbers in it and also obviously use the checkboxes. Here you can also link the URL or link the note. So if you're writing different notes and you want to see the information or the file that you're referring to, you can link a note that you already have created and easily access it whenever you need to. Let's link this note card with a recipe. Note cards are a very useful feature in Zoho Notebook. It's done by extension for the browser that you can also install for free on Zoho website. And I will show you how can you add the recipe like that later on in this video. You can also easily add photos and pictures to your notes. First of all, you can choose the size that you want your image to be and also you can edit the picture however you like. So here is the picture editor. You can draw different shapes, you can highlight the stuff that you want to highlight, you can add text and arrows and also add different marks to point out the important things on your pictures or on your screenshots in the browser and also you can blur the things that you need to be blurred. A very cool feature is that you can move different elements that you put on your picture, for example, the highlight part or the text, wherever you want. Also, a really useful element is divider to divide your note for you to easily access the information. You can also put in the tables, quotes, and even insert code in Zoho Notebook. You can also set up a reminder for your note for a specific date and you can also choose whether you want to repeat this reminder and receive the email. You can also color mark your notes so you can easily find them in the notes library and also you can add members to edit and write down in your notes and share it via links and via email. And there are some more options that you can do with your note. For example, print it, lock it, merge it with another note, copy it to another notebook and add tags. Tags are very useful so you can find the information that you need in seconds by the certain hashtags that you put into your notes. After we created our tag, we can see how easily we can find this note among others by the tags. In Zoho Notebook, you can also attach different files and store them in the notebook and also attach drawings that you can draw with this drawing tool. If you need your note to be in two different notebooks at the same time, you can copy it to the different notebook, for example, to the Christmas list one. And let's see it immediately occurred there. And now I will show you how to add these note cards by the example of the recipe that you want to save. 
First of all, you need to install the extension for the browser on Zoho website. And for example, you want to save this recipe of Christmas cookies. You open it and you already see the notification where you can save it to a different notebook. For example, the Christmas list notebook. Let's go back to the notebook and see the recipe that we saved. It is very useful because you already have the checkbox with ingredients that you need to buy that you can check if you have them or no and the step-by-step -step recipe already in your notes and you don't have to copy anything. It automatically creates a very beautiful note. Also, this extension for the browser is very useful for other purposes. For example, planning the trips. So if you want to save any information into your travel notebook, you can make a bookmark of the page and save it to the notebook that you need it to be stored in. And now let's go back to the notebook and see how this bookmark looks like. You can open it in two different views, for example, the reader view and see the whole page with important information that you want to see and want to save already saved in one place. You can also transfer it to a note so you can add your personal notes to this text. Another useful function of Zoho Notebook is merging notes between each other. So it basically means taking one note and adding it to another one. You can either delete the merged note or keep it if you need. And now while we scroll down to the end of the note, we can see the merged note with Christmas list at the end of this note. Now let's go back to the browser extension of Zoho Notebook. First really useful feature is writing down your notes directly from the web browser. And then you can save it to any notebook you like. The next really useful feature is taking a screenshot of the full page or focused area or the part of the page. Let's take a screenshot of the part of the page. You can highlight and take a screenshot of any part of the web page that you need to. And now you can also edit this screenshot that you took and save it to your notes. You can write out the title of the note and save it to any notebook you like. You can also add more photos to this note and also create tags for this note directly from the web extension. And now let's see what can you do with your notes. First of all, you can see all of the info about the note that you created. And also you can move it to favorites tab. You can also lock it from the easy access so you set up a password to access the note. So that is the end of the overview of Zoho Notebook, a really useful note-taking app that you can use completely for free. If you're interested in implementation or integration of any of Zoho products, make sure to book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below. And please make sure to subscribe and click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here.